Hi there. You might have seen one of our other videos where we help you buckle down and focus when you need to get stuff done right now. But today, I wanna to talk about how you can actually train yourself to be a more focused person in general, every day, which will help you become more effective, get more work done, and build better relationships without just needing to bust out fancy concentration hacks every time you need to pay attention. I'm Andrew with Brainscape, an adaptive flashcard study app that's built on decades of proven cognitive science research into how we learn and perform better. And believe it or not, just like your willpower, which we've covered in a similar video, your attention span is very similar to a muscle. It can be built up, it can get fatigued, and it can waste away if you're not using it properly and consistently. So today, let's build a little bit of a workout that won't actually take much time out of your day, but will hopefully rewire your brain to your benefit. First, before we get too deep into the exercises to build your concentration muscle, it's worth mentioning how important it is to just keep a complete to-do list that will help you manage all the tasks in your life. I'm not just talking about a list of all the little ticky tacky things that you have to do in the coming days, but also a, a long-term to-do list, a list of all your big projects and goals, which hopefully you can break down into as small of pieces as possible as well. This, this big list building and planning process on paper is super critical because it helps prevent your focus from evaporating when you're actually gonna to try to build it in these later exercises. There's nothing more distracting than constantly thinking about all the stuff that you have to do or that you want to do and worrying that you might forget about it. Getting on paper or into an app is the most effective way to keep it out of your short-term short -term memory and allow you to concentrate on the task at hand. Now that our minds are clearer, we're gonna come out swinging here with a tough one that you might hate, but that literally takes zero extra time out of your day. Take freezing cold showers instead of your usual hot ones. I know we've talked about this in other videos about building motivation or self-discipline. You're probably sick of hearing it, but I'm saying all this because cold showers are so effective at invigorating your mind with all types of positive energy. Because think about it, the only way to endure that icy cold water is to fully relax yourself before you step in. And when you combine that uber relaxation with the endorphins that your body produces when it feels that cold water, it's like a brain reset that will allow you to conquer anything today, including concentration. You can even meditate on some personal mantra while you're taking that cold shower. Maybe telling yourself, I'm gonna stay focused today, or I'm gonna be confident today, or I won't get angry at anything today. So what you're doing is you're taking advantage of your mind's relaxed and suggestive state where these mantras are more likely to stick permanently. It's not surprising that one of our biggest tips for learning to focus better when studying is to actually study, right? You wanna get better at basketball, you shoot hoops. It's the same thing with concentration. What's important here is that you learned how to be mindful of how effective your concentration is on each exercise on, on the spot as you're actually doing it, and then learn to adapt yourself as you go. If you feel your attention span drifting when doing math problems, okay, maybe it's time to read your textbook for history instead. Or if you're totally in the zone when you're reading, right, you're very focused, then maybe it's a good time to use that spare attention span to make flashcards, either on paper or using a flashcards website or app like Brainscape, where you can organize your cards to be easier to study later. This way, when future you might not have as much time or focus as currently concentrated you does, then you'll just be able to open up Brainscape's app, push the easy button, and knock out a few 
quick flashcards without having to think about it. Before your brain starts to daydream of a flying squirrel racing a paper airplane. It's like working out. Just like your body has hundreds of small muscles that sometimes get fatigued, your brain has lots of different types of concentration. Right? Maybe one type can focus on math, one on reading, one on some kind of physical activity. So, so mix it up. Get a full brain workout and learn what it feels like when one of your types of concentration is getting fatigued. So you can switch gears or take breaks and start using one of your brain's other reserves of energy. Now, moving on from studying textbooks specifically, let's talk about reading in general, or maybe even for pleasure. When you're legit reading a long and uninterrupted story or nonfiction book, it forces you to really have to wrap your head around a large topic without other small distractions interrupting your train of thought. This will increase your stamina for paying attention to other big and important readings in your life that might not be as interesting to you. If reading a whole book feels too big and scary for you right now, I get it, then maybe start with short stories or, or long articles. The point here is to wean your brain off of just only reading short headlines on social media feeds where you're constantly switching from one topic to the next every few seconds. Because all that social media reading is training our brain to do is to be distracted every single time we see a squirrel. And we need to rewire that bad modern pattern with long form reading and concentration. Unfortunately, developing a great habit of reading with your eyes doesn't always translate into also having a better attention span with your ears, right? You might get great at, at being super focused on reading books, but then in your next lecture or meeting, three minutes into it and you're daydreaming about whether a squirrel could beat a groundhog in a fight. This is where things like audiobooks or podcasts can come in, documentaries maybe. Next time you go for a run or a drive, instead of listening to that Pearl Jam album for the 20th time, because they've still got it, throw your headphones on and listen to a person actually talking with human words in some capacity uh, for, for a long period of time. There are so many times in life where you need to be able to focus on a human voice droning on about something, even if it's boring, so the more that you've trained your brain to listen to long form speech via audiobooks or podcasts or whatever, the more equipped that your attention span will be for those other important life situations. If you liked the exercises in this video, please subscribe to this channel and check out the full article over at the Brainscape Academy, where you can find hundreds of other great resources that will help you learn faster, stay motivated, and build stronger habits. Because if you have good habits and are ready to just turn on your concentration whenever you actually need it, then you will always be ready to rise to any challenge. <laughs>